Okay, so the reason I look like um, myself as a toddler, demon baby, is because I haven't done my eyebrows yet, because this is an updated eyebrow routine. I've actually been doing it in a very simple way lately, which is just to use a powder and an angled brush and call it good. My weapons of choice have been the Zoeva 317 Wing Liner brush, which was just in my favourites, and this eyebrow colour from Inglot. Anyway, it's just a really nice, very light taupe eyeshadow, almost with a slightly satin finish, so it's very easy to just scribble some in and it looks good. Okay, so I'm going to start by just brushing them up into place, and I'm probably only just going to show you one brow since they're essentially the same. Oh, that spot's nicely highlit by my uh, bronzer, isn't it? Okay, so everybody has slightly different eyebrows. The key to making them look more similar is to forget the idea of having them exactly symmetrical. And so for example, this eyebrow is more angled. This one is a bit more rounded. So instead of just making one match the other, make tiny adjustments. For the more angled one, I try and fill in a little bit up here to make it a bit more rounded. And for this one, I try and take it a little bit lower just to make it look a bit more flat and just make very small adjustments. So I personally think that's the best way to do it anyway. I always start at the arch. So just start filling that in with little feathery strokeries. And like I said, I'm just gonna fill this in a little bit over the top so that it's a little bit more rounded. And then go underneath. I'm growing my eyebrows in a little bit thicker currently to keep my face warm in the winter, so that's why they're a little bit um, unruly. I find using a powder slightly lighter than you may think. <coughs> Makes it easier to make small corrections because it's not like a big blunt line, it's just a very soft effect. So. Once I've pretty much filled in the rest of the brow, and I've not been making the tail end too precise or taking it out too long or anything, I'm really just I'm filling in what I already have and making tiny corrections. I get a little bit more on the brush and then use tiny little strokes in here just to make it a little bit softer, a little bit more like hairs. I've not been using any gel or anything, I just have, can't be bothered. And if you do have any areas where you have scars or anything quite stubborn to fill in, you can use a slightly darker powder to do that. So I'll take the Tarte um, powder, which is slightly darker, and just feather in those areas that are hard to cover. You can also try using the powders wet in any difficult areas. Okay, so now I'm just going to whiz through the other one. good eyebrow that I actually like and then this one has got like gaps in it it's got a big scar through it so this is usually the eyebrow that I end up using a darker color on like I said this one is a bit more angular so I try and bring this one a little bit lower down underneath because it's naturally just a bit more rounded under there and I kind of like a big straight brow and just feather that through any kind of patches that are crappy and then because this one is a bit more angled than this one I like to kind of make a little angle at the end where there isn't naturally one and if you have blonde brows and you're doing them in the sunlight sometimes you're like can I is it even there I can't tell put your hand over it which will cast a shadow and make it a little bit easier if you still find it hard to fill in any kind of bold spots or whatever you want a bit more defined, you could go in with the Dip Brow Pomade, the colour I use is in blonde, and you could even just underline your brows and kind of, you know, feather it up through or use it to just fill in any scars or gaps or anything. I think the key to getting your brows how you want them is to just care less because I know they're never going to be exactly the same, but you know what? They do their job, they frame my eyes. So that's it for my updated eyebrow routine. 
It's definitely just my kind of everyday, very simple, good enough brow. That's what I've been doing lately, especially because I'm trying to grow them out a bit. I don't want them to be too defined so you can see where there's gaps or extra hairs. Yeah, if there's any other kind of basics like this that you want to see, like I'm going to have a foundation routine, like foundation, lips, mascara, anything, no matter how basic or in depth it is, then please let me know. And now I have a better camera, I might even be able to film an eyeliner or lash one. So let me know which you would most like. As usual, you can find all of the products used, uh, social media stuff, any discounts I have will all be below in a blog post, if not just in the down bar. And um, yeah, that's it. And I will see you soon. Bye. Sometimes I wish YouTube was a bit more interactive so that you could be like, Ryan, your, your lips are all, <laughs> or you know, you've got an eyelash on your cheek or